When I started to write these books in 1952, I wanted to find um, a name which wouldn't have any of the sort of romantic uh, overtones like Peregrine Carruthers or whoever it might be. I wanted a really flat, quiet name. And one of my Bibles out here is uh, James Bond's Birds of the West Indies, which is a very famous uh, ornithological book indeed. And I thought, well, that James Bond, now that's a pretty quiet name. On August 12, 1974, Ian Fleming died of a heart attack after a lunch at the Royal St. George Golf Club with two friends. The interview of the beginning of the video was recorded early that year by the CBC in Jamaica at Golden Eye, his house, where he traveled every year. Fleming had an unhealthy lifestyle, a smoking and drinking every day. The downside of his death with 56 years is that he could not enjoy the success of his character, James Bond, because it seems that the saga began to be famous with Goldfinger, 1965. The premiere was celebrated one month after his death. After more than 50 years, his novels had been translated into various languages, adapted to the cinema 24 times with seven agents, and Ian Fleming remains unknown for the general public. The first adaption of Casino Royale was in 1954 for American television in a live show. Official films began thanks to Broccoli and Salzman with Dr. No, 1962. Nowadays are the children of Broccoli the producers, Barbara and Michael. The legacy of Ian's 14 books of 007 and three more books, more than seven bonds and more than 24 movies that earn millions of pounds. At present, many writers continue writing about Fleming's character from novels to books to guides. They also have been many people involved with the films, as Judy Dench, Adele, Sam Mendes, Mark Foster, Guy Hamilton. Ian's character is more famous than him, so celebrating his birthday, I ask you to read and sign if if you are agree this request to have the recognition that he should have. That's the life of Ian Fleming.